Hello dear children today we are going to start with the discussion of irrigation the process of supplying the water to the crop plants in regular interval of times is called irrigation water is key input for crop production the process of supplying water to crop plants by means of canals reservoirs is known as irrigation irrigation is necessary for the survival and proper development of the crop plant thus in agriculture irrigation fulfills the following goals crop plants are irrigated with fresh water to supply two essential elements to them hydrogen and oxygen irrigation provides sufficient moisture for the germination of seed this is because seeds do not germinate in dry soils irrigation is necessary to increase the number of aerial branches called tillers in crop plants so as to get good crop yield different kinds of irrigation system are used to supply water to agricultural land they are wells canals rivers tanks chick dams etc there are two types of wells first we will talk about wells two types of wells are dug wells and tube wells in dug wells water is collected from water bearing strata in tube wells water is collected from deeper strata canals in this system canals receive water from reservoir or rivers and distribute it into the fields river lift system in this system water is lifted from rivers to irrigate fields close to rivers tanks these are small storage reservoirs which supply water to fields fifth is check dams these are used to stop rain water from flowing away and helps to increase ground water levels and reduce soil erosion sprinkler system it is mostly used in canal irrigated areas of haryana madhya pradesh and rajasthan in this system water is sprinkled throughout the radius of the sprinkler sprinkler is a horizontal pipe raising from its pipeline with a nozzle fitted at the top of it which rotates sprinkling the water in the area evenly spring so children this was about the different irrigation techniques